Hello, I'm Jessica Elfenbein. I'm the Senior Associate Dean of the Graduate School and Professor of History here at USC. And I want to take a few minutes to talk with you about the importance of professional development, whether you are a master's student in a professional field here at USC or a PhD candidate in an academic discipline. For all 7,000 or so of our graduate students, I think professional development is very, very important, and I want to focus my comments today on some transferable skills that I think your advanced studies will provide you with. As a graduate student at the University of South Carolina, you are undoubtedly expanding your skills in a variety of ways. I want to urge you to think very broadly about the skills that you're developing and the ways they might serve you in the broadest possible set of employment opportunities. I want you to begin thinking about ways that these transferable skills will make you ready for a variety of careers, both inside the academy, if that's your goal, or outside of it, whether that means the nonprofit sector, the government, or industry. The skills you get in graduate school can take you very far. The first thing I'd like you to do is to think about the skills that you're receiving and maybe think about them in a whole new way. As you develop new skill sets, I want you to kind of recast them for their broadest use. This will increase your employability and probably your job satisfaction as well. For example, if you're a doctoral student, you are really developing into an independent researcher. This is fabulous, and of course it's fabulous if you want a job on the tenure track, but it's equally fabulous if you want to work in any one of the other employment sectors. Why? Because you're already a proven commodity. You know how to create, define, and execute an original research project. Think how important those skills are to employers across the sectors. If you are in the process of writing your dissertation or perhaps a master's thesis, theses, you are gaining significant experience in both project design and project management. These are also critical skills which lots of employers in 2016 are hungry for. For all of you, but especially again for doctoral students, if you are nearing completion of a dissertation, then you know what it is to be a self-starter. You know what it is to have time management skills. These are also sets of skills very important to a wide variety of employers in the market in 2016. What other kinds of transferable skills? Well, I would say for all of you in graduate school, you're honing your organizational skills. You couldn't manage the range of things you're doing without those skills getting sharper and in better focus. You're working with data. Some of you are working with, predominantly with qualitative data, others of you with quantitative data, some of you with both. But the ability to analyze data, really, really important. And I would say uh, a really terrific transferable skill. Just being in graduate school makes you a risk taker of a certain kind. You don't know exactly what's going to happen when you finish your degree, but you're willing to, to, to hang on and, and kind of watch it come to fruition. Risk-taking is valued by many, many employers and is certainly a transferable skill. Your communication skills, whether it's in, um, whether your communication skills are in writing or your communication skills are in presentation, these are very important skills, again, to a whole lot of employers across a whole bunch of sectors. Many of you are doing technical writing, that's terrific. Some of you are working on beautiful prose, also very helpful in terms of being transferable skills that might help you land all kinds of um, interesting work. What else? Well, a whole bunch of you teach. That's really great. Teaching itself is, of course, a transferable skill, but you might want to think about teaching in a, in a slightly different frame. What about the possibility of working in training in your discipline? What about the possibility of um, talking about yourself as a collaborative team player who perhaps is team taught 
or has worked on a project with other people. Again, these are very valuable and very transferable skills. And then I want to sort of take you from the sublime to the mundane. Many graduate students struggle financially, and that's sort of a part of the rite of passage of being a graduate student, but I would submit to you that it also suggests another transferable skill. You have at least basic know-how of managing budgets and leveraging resources. Again, transferable skills, not ones that maybe you think about in that way, but I'm urging you to think about your life as a graduate student and the, the many and varied skills that you're developing and how you might apply them across a whole range of very interesting career options. We wish you well.